it's a true franchise back with part three of the power rankings. So far, we've done, I think, what was it, 18 through 32. And so we're starting out today. And let's keep the subscribers coming in. All right, let's go. Let's go. Starting off at number 16 today, the Chicago Bears. The Bears have been a good team besides one of the most important positions, quarterback. Nick Foles, baby. Bears made a move, got Nick Foles from the Jaguars, which I think, let's go, baby. That's a big steal. And I believe that Nick Foles is much better than Trubisky. I think they have the, the weapons in place. I think they have what, Taylor Gabriel. He's a pretty good wide receiver. They have um, Tariq Cohen. And they got Khal Khalil Mack. I think he's on the Bears, right? I don't know. I think the Bears have a really good all, uh, defense, though. They have, what's his name? They have Clinton Dix, who I think is pretty good. But yeah, Bears number 16. I can see them. I can see them winning some games this year. Folds, you know, keeps up the magic. Number 15, the Tennessee Titans. The Titans, um, honestly, I don't know where they came from. Like, I, I, if they were in the playoffs, I would have them probably in the 20s. But I don't know what happened. Like, they kind of came out of nowhere and almost, almost, um, beat the Patriots to make it to the conference championship. But somehow they upset the Ravens, who are the best team in the playoffs. They upset them. Derrick Henry's just an animal. He can do everything. But honestly, like, I think Tannehill had a great year, right? But like, is he a franchise quarterback? Like, that's still undecided. So that's why they're 15, not higher. Like, I can see them. If Tannehill still continues, like, being pretty solid, I can see, like, Henry carrying them. They have A.J. Brown, who's a really good rookie. I can see them making some splashes, too. <laughs> Number 14, the worst team in the league, the Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys, GG, the coronavirus, honestly, is going to hurt them. They have a new coach, which, I mean... <laughs> As an Eagles fan, I hate to see Jason Garrett go because he was horrible, and it was so funny to abuse him. But Mike McCarthy, honestly, is a better coach, but he's not going to have time in practice to implement, like, all their new play calls and stuff, whereas other teams in the NFC East have the advantage of already having, like, a, a coach like Doug Peterson already established, and they know what they're doing. Um, the Cowboys, Dak Prescott, still waiting on a huge contract. Amari Cooper just got paid. Um, it's going to be interesting to see if Ezekiel Elliott – is still good or bad like he kind of took a step back in the last couple of years but we'll see number 13 the tampa Bay Buc the tampa bay buccaneers so their rating got boosted because of tom brady and that's all i'm gonna say because i hate tom brady and i don't think they're gonna be good but who knows because tom brady is unfortunately horrible but he's good i guess but like, whatever um but they have good running backs wait who do they have they have peyton barber and what's his name ronald jones i think I think both of them are decent enough, but Mike Evans, I think Mike Evans and Tom Brady might actually be pretty good. Chris Godwin, he's, he's probably going to be like Tom Brady's Julian Edelman, so we'll see. Coming in at number 12, the Detroit Lions. Honestly, like, I don't mind the Lions. We got Matt Stafford, good guy. Um, It was so funny last year when Matt Stafford got injured, and we had some Randy come in and just, like, play quarterback for a couple of games. He was horrible. But honestly, I can see the Lions being good, like... They're not a bad team. I know they just traded Darius Slay, but I think that Matt Stafford is a really good quarterback, like top tier, probably like top 10 in the league. And I think if he stays healthy and so does the pieces around him, then they'll be fine. Coming in at number 11, the Arizona Cardinals. What happened with the Cardinals? How did they get from probably 20th at the end of the season to 11th? Jeez, they scammed the Texans. Great move by the Cardinals. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what happened, but Kyler Murray to DeAndre Hopkins is gonna be lit. I just think they're gonna be a fun team. We got Larry Fitzgerald, Kyler Murray, um, Christian Kirk, D Hop. Um, who's their new running back? Kenyon Drake. That's a dynamic offense. Chandler Jones on defense. He's a monster. Very underrated, but everyone knows how good he is. But besides that, on defense, they're a little lacking which is why it's going to be hard for them to compete in the NFC West. But I do think that their offense might be able to win them some games and maybe even make the playoffs. Coming in at number 10, the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles just need to stay healthy and they'll be fine. The Eagles are a pretty good team and Carson Wentz is a really good quarterback, so I hope that he does really well this season. And with Deshaun Jackson on um, on offense, we've got Deshaun Jackson. We're probably going to get Henry Ruggs in the draft. I hope we get a wide receiver who's really good. I'm really mad we didn't get DK Metcalf because I think our team would have been stacked. But Zach Ertz, Dallas Goddard, best tight end combination in the game. 
We got an electric defense now, I hope. If everyone stays healthy, please. We can't be wasting Fletcher Cox and Brandon Graham. They're both insane. And we got people going down, and it's making them, you know, not able to carry as much. We got Fletcher Cox, Brandon Graham, Darius Slay, and Ronald Doyle. No, we don't have Ronald Doyle, but we have Jalen Mills. So I think our defense and offense might be able to work together synchronously this year. And maybe even, you know, what am I saying? Not maybe. We're definitely going to win the worst division in football. Come on now. <laughs> Coming in at number nine, the Minnesota Vikings. Um, the Vikings got rid of Stefan Diggs, which I think is a bad move, which kind of downgrades their ranking. But Kirk Cousins has been decent enough to win. Adam Thielen's a really good wide receiver, very underrated. And Dalvin Cook, if he's healthy, has shown last year that when he's healthy, he can be, he can be one of the best running backs in the league. And who's that one guy they have? Uh, I think they have a good strong safety, right? They have Harrison Smith. Harrison Smith, a really good strong safety. And I think the Vikings will be fine this year. Probably not as electric as last year offensively, but I think that they'll be good enough to compete. All right, if you guys like this video, please subscribe. Um, go watch the other two videos. We got the power rankings before this. Make sure you check those out so you know where everyone falls. And let me know your thoughts down below. Please subscribe and like.